action. Greetings, gorgeous human beings. This is a summary of something that we all could do and work on, and this is an assignment about following your bliss. It is based on my ebook, Superhero Effect, The Science of Choosing Emotional Balance, and it is something you can learn to choose, something we've been doing in class. It's your seven day hero's journey to heart brain unity via 99 second yogic habits. So yoga based habits, that's what we're doing. The page 20 of this 20 page book is a log, which you got in class. And if you didn't, I will put a PDF so you can load this, get this uh, yourself off, off the internet. It's my seven day hero's journey to follow my bliss habits. It's a self accountability log. You could put your name on there. And what you're deciding is your day range. So we started this last week. Today's 11-11. I thought that was a great auspicious day. So I started mine today. It's just the way I am with these things. And did a full day range. It's I have seven days there, but you can also go to a full 21. I invite you to get an accountability partner to do this. And the, the bottom line is, as I found from teaching lots of students for 25 years here at a community college, I've got 100 students a semester, get to learn a lot about you and you teach me so much and I appreciate it so much, but I try to always provide and upgrade um, solutions, tools for living with life. And what I've discovered is this little worksheet works. And this is, I've, this is my, I think my third rendition. I started this last August. So follow your bliss or 99 second habits, 99 seconds for five different habits, B-L-I-S-S. You get to choose what the B, which ones you want to do and you could just circle or highlight the letter B-L-I-S-S -S here if you want to, or you could circle it, whatever you want to, and then the S, and I'll explain it right here. So what it is, is typically what I find is, and I think what most people, um, what I found, especially learning in, in Ayurveda, most people will exhibit their stress as anxiety. Anxiety that comes up needs to be calmed down, anger, is literally needs, you need to be cooled off. It tends to get hot. And uh, depression needs uplifting. And then there are different addictions that are associated with those. But the BLISS to follow your bliss with this little worksheet. The B stands for breathing. The two one breathing, I think is one of the most powerful, accessible and affordable, because it's free, a tool that you can use to calm things down. Bouncing, preferably on a rebounder, but you can still bounce just like this. And it's just as effective. And that is also B, but you don't have to do both Bs. It just depends on what your need is for that day. So the B stands for either breathing or bouncing for 99 seconds and getting in the habit of doing that daily. And it also has something to do with your lymphatic system and uh, physiological changes in your human body. La the L stands for laughing or loving. You, it is laughing and loving more like childlike, more in your emotional centers. You have really, people say inner child, there's really two inner children. There's an inner teen and an inner like toddler child. So laugh and love like a child, just be in its free spirit and feel, let all your cells, let your heart feel laughing and loving. And that's the whole goal is that you're really incorporating it into all your cells. I am statements or I am incantations. We've done things that are YouTube videos, so some stuff I have on Spotify. You could do I am for uplifting. I found that many people have very low self-worth. Here in the studio, I did with a couple of classes, mirror work, most people can't say, I am strong, I am brave, I am peace, I am harmony, I am laughter, I am confident. They can't say that in the mirror because we've been so damn beat up by just mostly since uh, institutional and personal narcissistic abuse. And I'm so sorry if that's what you're dealing with, but this does help. The S, so I am recorded either do 99 seconds in the mirror, a 99 second, second audio recording or a 99 second video. Those are your choices to try to get it done and it's daily. And then smiling and singing. My dad always smiled and just smiling, your face knows. You can hear someone on the phone if they're smiling or not. Smiling and singing and just allowing your voice, that vibration of your own voice and get rid of all your, your uh, de depressive mood playlists because they don't serve you. And then starting and stopping a habit. I got back into, and I've done this so many times, is uh, doing the five Tibetan rites I started today. And one of the things I started before, simple habit was before I leave, I clean out the coffee pot so it's ready for the next for the next morning. So, or, you know, getting on a, go for a little walk for a little, just a quick walk around the block. Starting or stopping a simple habit. And that is it. So see if you could, it's a self accountability log. It's a self awareness tool, self accountability, self counsel. 
things, little simple things you can do that are simple habits that will counter emotional reactivity or prevent, prevent or stop emotional reactivity. I think it'll be great. I will put, figure out how to put a link underneath here, I think, I don't know. It's a PDF. Maybe I'll just put a link to the site, I'm not sure. So that's it people. Go have fun with that. Love and light to you.